welcome to our home. Today I am going to give you guys a house tour of our home for the fall season. So it's my 2019 fall house tour and today I am just going to give you a tour of my downstairs area. Um, we're going to be looking at my living room, my foyer that we're standing in, my dining room and kitchen. Um, I'm not going to show my office yet because we're still kind of working at it and our bathroom is going to be getting done next year sometime. So I just wanted to take you guys around. You guys have seen me um, done a lot of DIYs and um, challenges but I just wanted to show you what it all looks like in its entirety. So this is my foyer that we are standing in. I love the way that it turned out. Um, it actually took me about, I think, 10 tries to get it to where I really wanted it to. This um, big old chalkboard <laughs> wall that you um, see here is a DIY that I did a couple weeks ago and I just love the way that it turned out. I've always wanted a chalkboard wall but wanted something that was more intense and farmhouse but chic and still gives off a bit of traditional touch so I love the way that it turned out and it's huge because this wall is tall and it's wide so I needed something to fill the space these pillows I got from um, this pillow here I got from I want to say Walmart I got this from TJ Maxx and I also got this from Walmart this bench I actually built it uh, I built it, but the video was so jacked up that it wasn't uploading, so you guys didn't get to see that. But if you would like to see me build a bench like this, it's about 8 feet long. Um, I will definitely do that for you. But I actually did build this bench, and I painted it with like a chalky white. And then this candle holder I got from TJ Maxx, and the glass was a little bit shattered. So I believe it was $19.99, and I got it for $16.99 this pumpkin I had already and this was something that I thrifted years ago from the Salvation Army for $2.99 and then I just had these stems I've always had these stems but I went to my local grocery store and I just got this for $5.99 for a bundle and yeah this is what my little sitting area looks like in my foyer and also my Thanksgiving fall tree of course you guys know I had to have a fall tree um, it's definitely a lot more um, minimal this year. I kind of want it to be minimal this year with my fall decor because I know for Christmas I'm going to go all out. So I wanted it to be a little bit more tamed. Um, the ornaments that you see there, the chalk painted ornaments, I've made those from scratch as well as a DIY for DIY Tuesdays. And um, my family and I, we actually wrote on them what we were all thankful for. So behind them, I can actually show it to you. We all wrote what we're thankful for and then we wrote our names on the bottom of them and I'm thankful for my family and so many other things. And then my kids, they were thankful for their parents and Christmas gifts and God. And it's just, it's such a memorable thing to do. Um, my kids, they actually love doing DIYs with me and so, it was something that I could get them involved in and get them off of the computer screens and we just had a blast doing it. This little fall stand down here, this little fall stand down here, I actually got it from Marshalls and that was $16.99 and then the burlap with the black and white check, I got that from Hobby Lobby um, last year sometime. And these are my stairs. I've always wanted a beautiful staircase. Um, in any home that we have and when I first entered into this home we just moved into this home five months ago and so when I first entered into this home and I saw this stairway and I saw this foyer I was like this is it this is the home for my family so I just I love it so much I love coming down it I love when my kids come down it and our daughter Michaela she comes down and she's like a pretty pretty princess so I just love it um, I put this mirror here because at the entryway, I think you need a mirror to kind of just see what you look like before you leave the house. And I just love the way that it looks. It accentuates the foyer and all my design in here as well. 
This light, I was light fixture. I was actually contemplating on getting rid of it, but my husband loves it so much, I decided to keep it. And I think it actually looks beautiful. It adds like a touch of bling and opulence in the foyer. Um, and it just gives it a really nice cozy feel as well. I just love the way that it looks with everything. Um, and here is my console table. I've had this mirror for, I think last year I purchased this mirror and it just works. I think it works so well with everything. Our console table, it was actually a brown color and I spray painted it like a creamy color. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx and then the greenery and um, this little pumpkin stick here, I got it from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, all mixed in. This was from Marshalls and I just love it so much, it's so cute. And um, then the rest of the decor is from Walmart and TJ Maxx. This setup over here, you guys saw that in one of my challenge videos. I actually made this ladder, um, blanket ladder for DIY Tuesdays. And it just, it looks so great, you guys. I love the way that it turned out. I was trying to make it um, a six foot tall ladder, blanket ladder, but the wood that I have just was not working out and so I ended up making it four feet tall. Um, and I think it works out. It works out for the area. And I just put this My Cup Runneth Over sign on there. I think it just gives it a nice touch to it. Um, and actually, this is not a stain that's on the wood. This is chalkboard paint. <laughs> well, I actually just put some water with the chalkboard paint and kind of just rubbed it all over the wood. And it came out looking like I torched it with fire. And I just love the way that it looks. It came out with the black um, accents and just kind of ties everything else in. And then I got this vase here from TJ Maxx for $9.99. And the banana palms. I'm from Jamaica, so y'all know I got to keep a little bit of bananas up in my house. <laughs> but um, I got these from Walmart. And then this jar here I got from Walmart as well. It's used for like cookies or flour or whatever. But I just decided to go ahead and drop some pumpkins in there. And I think it looks beautiful. This rug... This rug here I got from a local store in our area and it's just so beautiful. It came with us from the previous house and um, I just love the way that it looks in the foyer. It adds warmth, it adds depth, and it's just such a beautiful um, rug. My girls, they love to come out and lay on this rug, especially my daughter Michaela. She comes every single day from school and she does her homework and then she lays out on the rug with her um, iPad and she does her thing in here. Sometimes she even falls asleep. She's fallen asleep a few times on this rug. It's extremely comfortable. So now I'm going to take you guys into our living room space and um, glance over. Now we don't have any overhead lights yet in this living room. So we do have lamps. Hopefully you guys can see it. it it is lit, but it is a little bit dark and dreary outside because, you know, it's the weather. We're in the fall season, but um, I just have my fireplace on, which, guys, I love having a fireplace. I've always wanted a fireplace ever since I knew what a fireplace was. Um, in the previous house, you guys saw that I did a DIY for a makeshift fireplace, and when I first saw this fireplace, it just melted my heart. I knew that this is what I wanted because the foyer and you walked right into the living room and the fireplace is there. So I just, I love having a fireplace. Sometimes you don't even have to turn the heat on, honestly. The fireplace, it heats up the entire downstairs, but it's just so warm and cozy and especially because it's the fall season and the Christmas holiday is coming up and it just feels so warm and cozy and we love it. So our living room furniture is actually um, an Ashley, Ashley furniture brand, and we just love it so much. There's been many nights <laughs> that we have slept in this couch, and it's just, it just melts. You literally just melt into the couch. So um, I just paired it with some accent pillows. I didn't really go all out with fall pillows this year. 
Um, I just figured the accent pillows it, with the yellow, it kind of gives it a fall vibe. And yellow is my favorite color for those of you that don't know. Um, and I, it just looks really good with some yellow fall pumpkins and um, we have some whites and some gray pumpkins on the mantle as well. And it all just looks so good. This is our little console table that I painted. Um, and then I just added some accents on there with some pumpkins. I just like to decorate with things that I already do have and then kind of just um, add some holiday decor with whatever is already there. I don't want to have to go and remove everything and put all holiday and then, you know, it just makes no sense. You're spending a lot of money for no reason. This um, sign, I absolutely love it. I feel like it is the epitome of my family. I love it so, so, so very much. Um, I've talking, I've spoken to you guys before about trusting in God in times of trouble. And every time I look at this sign, I know that no matter where I am or what I am going through, the Lord will always be with me. So this sign, definitely, I had to put it in the center of our living room. You see it from anywhere in the living room. And it's just an encouragement to know that God is always going to be with you. And then, of course, we have our 50-inch flat screen television. Had to have that. <laughs> My husband wanted it in the living room, so we had to have it there. Um, and we just love it. We've enjoyed so many movies. This, I want to say my, my living room is probably one of my favorite spaces in the house because it's so warm and it's so inviting. Um, and, yeah, then I put this little console table here because sometimes, you know, when you're sitting on the couch or laying on the couch, you can have, like, your drink, your juice, um, and a little snack, and you just, you know, snack on and chill out. So I just have this little three-tier pumpkin here, um, some acorns and things, and my phone is upstairs somewhere. And then this sign, because this is, this is who we are. Happiness is not a destination, it is a way of life. And it's also a choice. You choose to be happy, you choose not to be, so we love it. This I actually thrifted from the Salvation Army for $2.99. I thought it was so great with all the little wood details on there. Absolutely gorgeous. Then you see here my little mantle. This mantle has changed about four or five times um, because I wanted, I wanted to have this mirror feature here because I thought it was so grand um, and it just, it fits the size of the fireplace mantle so I wanted something that was extremely grand and this sign well not sign but this portrait um, was basically the starting point for my design um, for the fall season I wanted it to be I wanted my decor to be very neutral and plain and just have that fall vibes but I just loved the white pumpkins and the little branches with the berries on there and then the rustic tones of the colors it just the wood tones as well it just was so beautiful and then I got these little picks from Hobby Lobby and I got these greenery from Walmart this um, candle holder I got from I think it was home goods and then this I thrifted as well the pumpkins I got from Marshall's and Target Target dollar spot y'all know about that um, and then this pumpkin I also got from Marshall's. It says thankful and blessed. And then this is actually two candlesticks. Two candle stands that I just turned into one. Um, because I didn't have like a taller candle stand to put over here. So I just put two and turned it into one. And I think it turned out really, really good. I love it so much. Now let's talk about my tree, y'all. <laughs> so... In my home decor, I'm going for an urban farmhouse. I just didn't want it to be too farmhousey because I do like the farmhouse style, but I don't like for it to be like too cluttered and you know you have farmhouse just throwing up everywhere in your house. I wanted it to represent my family. I wanted it to be cozy and I just wanted a space where my kids can come and they can have fun and they can run and they can you know, play and not have to worry about them. Like, oh my gosh, don't break this, don't do this. So I wanted it to be extremely comfortable and I think that I've achieved that with this tree. It's um, one of those rose gold 
tinsel trees that I got from Walmart and it was $20 you guys um, and then I just stuck some picks in there some little pumpkins that I got from never mind that <laughs> some little pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just stuffed them in there um, I did not spend a lot of money to decorate this tree at all majority of the things actually all of the things I had already I didn't even spend anything to get this tree um, decorated then I just put it in a little basket um, and a little gold pumpkin and two candle stands just kind of set the tone for everything so it's definitely urban chic urban farmhouse and I love the way that it turned out so over here is my hutch you guys have seen this hutch in the old house um, and I painted it I got it from I think I got it from I got this I got this from the habitat for humanity that's where I got it from and I um, it was like a brownish color and it is an antique and yes I painted an antique please don't come for me but I did paint an antique because I don't really like too much dark furniture in my home so I painted it white um, like a chalk paint white and then um, it gives like a farmhouse feel and then inside I just put like some white vase with greenery a thankful sign a bowl of pumpkins and a blessed sign what you don't know is that I actually camouflaged my um, my photo albums <laughs> my photo albums is all the way in the back there so you can't see what is inside of there but I have tons of photo albums because I take a lot of pictures of our family I love memories so I love to just sit down and look back on when my kids were um, you know babies or two years old and even when my husband and I you know before we got married and all this stuff so we have a lot of memories and it's all stored behind this sign so up top here um, my best friend Carrie Ann she um, she actually has a channel Car Carrie Ann Blake Hicks you guys check her out she does a lot of travel vlogs and um, she's also a worship singer so I would love for you guys to go ahead and check her out and subscribe to her channel as well um, she gave this to me as like a housewarming gift sometimes she really just buys things for me and I don't even know but she gave me these two beautiful wooden lantern um, and this farmhouse clock and I just love them so much that I just really had to feature them on top of this hutch here is my desk <laughs> this wasn't in my first um, fall tour but here's my desk and it's kind of just chilling here for a little bit because I'm going to be um, putting it in my office very soon but this is where I work this is where I do all my editing um, this is where I pay bills uh, and there's ladybugs crawling in my <laughs> on my pumpkin but we have a lot of ladybugs in this house I don't know where they're coming from but um, we I do a lot of work in this area and it's just so cozy and also it kind of just keeps me in the mix of things when my kids are home and when they're doing their homework I can keep an eye on them and make sure that they are doing their homework and they're not on the computer or the iPad so I love sitting here and editing our videos and um, editing even my husband's videos because he has a channel Mike Bowens motivates if you guys have not yet been to his channel y'all are missing out he does a lot of Christian motivational business motivation health motivation and also just overall health mind body soul spirit so I would love for y'all to check out his channel as well my bones motivates um, so we do a lot of filming and a lot of editing um, videos for both of our channels here so I absolutely love it all right guys so now I am going to take you into our dining room this is where the fun comes in y'all <laughs> we love eating in here oh my goodness sometimes I just can't believe that I'm actually living in this type of house <laughs> it's, it's weird to say that but this is like a dream house for me for this you know level that we're on and I just absolutely I love it I love our dining table um, when we first moved here we were just like we're going to take the leaf and put it into the table and extend it because we wanted to have um, a lot more room for family and friends. So that's what we did. So we went from a six-seater to an eight-seater with this table. 
and this is also an Ashley home table um, and chair set. I absolutely love Ashley's furniture. They're so durable, especially if you have kids. They are so durable and they can hold up against <laughs> kids, dogs, anybody. So I just love it so much. And um, I have two candle stands here that I got from um, Home Goods. And I have the white pumpkin burning. They're both white pumpkins. I got those from Marshalls and they smell absolutely delicious. So these two end chairs, I got, I scored at the Goodwill, you guys. Y'all know a chair like this is hundreds, maybe to even a thousand or so. Um, I got this chair for $10. It was $10 each in the Goodwill. And I was planning on painting it white and refurbishing the um, fabric. But then I was just like, wait a minute, I can actually put this at my dining room table and I love the color that I gave in. So what I actually did was just cleaned it down with some um, Lysol spray and I cleaned up the fabric and everything like that. And I think it looks great with our furniture and with the color scheme and the style of everything. Like I said, I'm going for an overall theme is an urban chic farmhouse decor style. And I think that with the darker furniture, the white walls, everything just looks so amazing. Um, I love this. This <laughs> this is one of looking for a bookshelf and um, you know the bookshelves with the little wooden shelf on top of it. I was looking for something like that, but I was just like I went to Target and I saw a few of them and they were like it wasn't expensive, but I didn't want to spend two hundred dollars for one shelf because I needed more than one pieces. And so I just was like, let me look for something else. And then this was at like my peripheral vision. I saw it and I was just like, this is it. When I looked at the price, it was $60. I said, that's it, I'm taking it, and I'm gonna go home and make something out of it. And that's what I did. I was able to put all of my knickknacks, all of my, so I was able to put all my thrifting items on here, and then I just went in and just added I think it was Dollar General. I got this from years ago. Um, and then I just added some of these little decor here, acorns, are they called acorns? What are these called? Mm -hmm. Yeah, acorns. Um, and then I got this little pumpkin here from Marshalls, Dollar Store, Marshalls, and um, this pumpkin patch, which I don't know if they realize it or not that they spelled pumpkin incorrectly, but I know they put out like a mass um, amount of product out last year, but they're, they're missing the P, but um, yeah. We put this here um, in our little pumpkins from Walmart, and um, yeah. So I think with the pine cones and everything, with the color scheme, it just all looks so good. And then behind there, I just have all of our little wall art, um, walk by faith, give thanks to the Lord, and as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That is one of the our favorite scripture that we actually stand on as a family. So I think it turned out so beautiful. I love it so much. And I, I just, it gives a nice warm color for the fall. And I cannot wait to decorate it for Christmas, you guys. I love decorating um, this for every season. It just, it just warms my heart. Then this is a brand new piece. I actually, we just got this a few days ago. This is a thrifted piece I got from the Salvation Army. Oh, y'all, I, I thrifted this for $30. It was a steal. I absolutely love it. It's a Broad Bra Hill um, brand made. Y'all know that's an expensive brand. Um, and I just love it. I was actually going to paint it, but I decided to keep the color because it goes with the table and with the overall urban farmhouse chic style that I'm going for. This basket I did as a $5 Goodwill challenge. I actually found this um, at the Goodwill and it just, it looks, it looks great. It looks absolutely great. This too I was going to spray paint white but I decided to keep the color tones. Um, this piece here, y'all know I thrifted that uh, a while ago. 
And then I just added a pine cone, I spray painted white, and just a grateful pumpkin as well. And then all the mirrors, my farmhouse mirrors, I just put as a backdrop for um, my console table, and I think it looks it looks beautiful. Um, and then these I thrifted as well. This I thrifted at the Salvation Army, and it was two ninety nine. And guys, this thing is extremely heavy. It's so heavy, but it looks beautiful. And this was a pumpkin that I got from Marshalls. So let's talk about these two lanterns on the sides. I think it looks amazing. Oh my goodness. I got these two lanterns from Target and I just love them. It was a bit pricey for lanterns, but I just thought that it accentuates the walls. The, um, the dining room, it gives it like a different type of vibe in here. And I just love, love, love the way that it looks. I'm actually going to be decorating it um, for a collaboration video and it's coming up I believe on November 10th so stay tuned for that you guys and see what I do I'm going to be decorating it for Christmas because I am starting to um, get my house ready for the Christmas holiday so let's go into the kitchen so here is the piece de la resistance the kitchen y'all know when we first moved in here this kitchen was yellow I love yellow but it was tacky <laughs> This is a 1920s house and it's colonial style and the kitchen definitely showed the age of the house but I wanted to completely gut the kitchen and put in like the wood cabinets you know like the farmhouse style cabinets with the the, um, the marble countertops and everything and then my husband was just like you know maybe it would be a good idea if we kept the cabinets because it'll be a lot more durable. And I was just like, okay, well, let's see what we can do. So I decided, I tried to come up with an idea in my head of what I want the kitchen to look like. It's not completely done because we still have to change out the light fixture and add the backsplash, have to con um, finish off the backsplash. But for the most part, it looks amazing. And we love coming in here. We kind of gather in here 95% of the time. Um, and I just, I love cooking in here. I painted the cabinets white um, and I decided to keep the stainless steel um, countertop because it, it goes with the appliances that we have and this is a Whirlpool refrigerator and let me tell y'all my husband surprised me with this you guys I wanted a refrigerator so bad and I wanted a French door refrigerator but I didn't want the water um, spout in it and he surprised me one day with this amazing refrigerator I just absolutely love it so much it's so easy and I just oh I love it I'm not gonna show y'all my refrigerator I'll give y'all a tour of that another time but I just I just love it I love it so much so on top of there I just put y'all know my turkey I, I gotta have my turkey on there um, and just a few little decor things that I think just represents fall a bit um, and then like I said, I did the backsplash myself. We still need to get these lights taken out. We'll get to that one day. But this is sort of like our breakfast area. So we have our fruits, um, our cookie jar. We use this a lot, our oatmeal, my husband and I. And then we have our Cheerios. And then I just put some pine cones and pumpkins in there as well. And then over here, we, um, I added some signs on, on this wall and I just, I love it. I think it looks beautiful and it says, in this house we show kindness, we make memories, we cherish family and friends and then start each day with a grateful heart. I think it looks great. I love it so much. And then our coffee bar here, although we don't drink coffee, it's more like our tea and hot chocolate station. Um, I just added some uh, acorn and pumpkins and then a little greenery back there. And we use this, I want to say about, what, six to seven times a day. We drink tea all the time. Back here, I also have a little tea canister with some um, dandelion tea back there and some other teas in there as well. And then this little tea kettle. I rave about this all the time. It's a Farberware tea kettle, and I just love it so much. I mean, you put the water in there, and it warms it up, and it goes. Love it, love it, love it. This little canister, I just have some pumpkins in there and um, some pine cones. 
and then I have my pumpkin praline candle burning it smells absolutely incredible and then this I thrifted from the Goodwill and it's a bunch of little acorns and little um, berries in there as well and I painted I painted the windows the windowsill black because I wanted it to give off like a nice farmhouse touch and I think it gives the kitchen a really nice look but because our neighbors is like right next door um, we just put a curtain there to kind of you know block it out so nobody will see inside our house especially I know Nyla is always in her birthday suit so um, just have some decor over there and our kitchen is very our kitchen our kitchen is very practical we have our thankful sign there and that sign will always be there because that's just how we roll we are extremely grateful for everything in our lives um, and yeah so this is our kitchen every minute every day I've been craving I don't want to get you out of my system so my husband wanted to get rid of it <laughs> but I I love it so much y'all for real legit I actually I am so in love with the stove it gives me life every single day it is super easy to clean you just spray some stuff on there and just wipe it down it's super easy to clean it cooks really fast and it's a convection oven so it, it has two sides to it actually so in this side you know we normally put like pizza like little square pizzas or little snacks and then in this side I do like my big baking situations and then under here I've never used under here but uh, I ain't gonna pull it out but I just I love it so much it's, it's gorgeous it's big it's practical and we love it so I actually wanted to show you guys my chart board um, well before we get to that over here is sort of like our command center um, these are my kids chore responsibility chart and then we have our calendar and just my little um, aprons here for me and Michaela when we cook and bake we love to do that together and then this is my chartboard DIY chartboard that you guys see but you this is my DIY chartboard that I did the other day for DIY Tuesdays and I just love the way that it turns out it says happy fall today's menu eat now or be hungry later love mom <laughs> I love that so much and I kind of go back and forth doing different things with it um, and definitely definitely for Christmas you guys will get to see what I do with it. Alright guys, so thank you guys so much for visiting with us today and for, you know, coming along to view our house tour. I hope you guys will stick around so you can see our what we do for Christmas and we will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and also make a, uh, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next episode. All I'm thinking about is when you'll come around Cause you got me, you got me Play the game just like a pro, didn't stand a chance You took it all, yeah, you won by a landslide